Welcome to Multi-Species Madness. This series is like a game. I'll use any strategies I need to catch as many species as possible in my given venue, and I'll be breaking it all down for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Who knows what we'll hook into. All right, guys, we are finally down here. It's, uh, it's a bit rainy today, and it has been all day, which means there's practically nobody out swimming. And I, I checked in with one of the lifeguards, and I had no idea that you were actually allowed to fish during uh, normal beach hours. But as long as you're 150 feet away from the nearest swimmer, you're good. So because there's nobody out here, I'm out here early. It's currently 3.25, and uh, normally I have to wait till 5.30. So we're gonna get some lines in the water and uh, get to it. All right, guys, so before we get the uh, first rig tossed out, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using for pretty much the entirety of the week here in the surf. So on my uh, medium power spinning rod, six foot spinning rod, I'm going to be casting around uh, like a spoon or something like the sand eel pencil um, for like bluefish, striper, stuff like that. It's a predatory species just sitting there in the breaking waves. And then on the surf rod, we got my 10 foot surf rod here. I'm going to be tossing out a high low rig, something like this here. Got a hook right here and a hook down here. And then we got four ounces of lead here. And I'm gonna be uh, working with like fish bites or shrimp or something like that for smaller species. Um, it could catch larger species as well. And then uh, cut bait, we may throw them on the rig at the same time. We may have them on um, like individually, but that's pretty much what I'm gonna be working for, uh, working with. And the uh, cut bait's gonna be for those larger species, shrimp, um, fish bites, blood worms for those smaller species. Ladies and gentlemen, it is day two. We're real now. We got the sun hat out and it's not raining, so that's a positive. Um, there are other people on the beach now, so I have to be aware of that. Um, but I think we're still going to be able to catch some fish. So let's get after it. All right, guys, so it's day three now. We're out here again. Uh, yesterday was a complete and utter failure. I had one fish on and I lost it at the break um, right before it got dark. And, you know, it was disappointing, but the ocean's like that sometimes. It's cruel. It's, it's cruel sometimes, you know? And you gotta live with that and you gotta learn from it. Hopefully, we're able to get some today. I restocked on fish bites, so that does give me a little bit more hope for catching some fish. Let's get after it. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to show you something here real quick. For those of you who have never surf fished before, one of the hardest things is telling whether or not your rod tip movement is a bite. So what you're going to do is watch the rod tip here. I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to watch the rod tip for movement here. So that, it had a little bit of movement there. And some there. And then what you're going to do is every time your rod tip moves, look out into the surf and figure out, try and figure out what the waves are doing to make the rod move like that. And then if you see some sort of movement that is out of sync with what the waves are doing, then it's likely a fish. here so we're back at the house now and uh, we didn't catch any fish in the surf but after lunch here I am going to go to the pier and I think we're gonna have a lot of luck there it's gonna be the transition of the tides um, but I got my Rapala fillet board my uh, Cutco fisherman solution my super fancy fillet knife. got my fillet kit and we got those three kingfish that we caught on day one and we're gonna fillet them up and I'm gonna have them for lunch they're really really good I love kingfish boom just like that, we are done. We got the remains right there, and then we got all our filet. Got to clean up our area here a bit, and then we're gonna get to cooking. All right, I built a sandwich. Here we go. Just a moment of truth. Mm-hmm. Is it good, bud? It's pretty good. That seasoning stuff is fire. It's so good. What seasoning stuff? It's the Stuff I use on the tilapia, the tilapia salmon at home. Oh, mm. It's the same stuff. It's pepper, garlic, and sea salt. Pepper, and garlic, and sea salt. Kingfish. Pepper. That's how you do it. I got one. I got one. It was a mummy chog. I saw it. There we go. Got him. Got one. And that is a golf killifish. Let's show you guys this guy. Golf killifish. There you go. Beautiful. One mummy chog, one golf killifish. I like it. They might actually take a fly, which some of you probably don't know this. One of my goals for this year is to catch 20 species on the fly. I'm up to 15. If I, the golf killifish are pretty large. If I can get one of those on the list, that'd be nice. Um, so we're going to try that real quick. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to head to the actual pier and uh, see what's going on there. Second mummy chog of the day. There you go. Another little baby mummy chog. There we 
we go. Fish on. That's something bigger. I feel like it's a spot. And it is a spot. Here we go. Guys, what I'm doing here right now is I'm using a sabiki rig. This has many hooks and imitates a school bait fish. And I tipped all the hooks with uh, some of the fish bites, blood worm alternative. And uh, that's getting it done, it seems. There we go. Yeah, that was much better. I think it's another spot. It was. Bite so quick. Oh, got one. There we go. Oh, there go. Got it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Another spot. Oh my gosh. Add another spot. Oh, geez. Add another spot to the list of the stuff we've caught today. It's mostly spot. Uh, I've caught some at the pier, and now I've caught some in the surf. Can I get anything other than spot? Is the real question for day three. He's bait. All right, guys. I don't know how well you can see. Let's turn this light up a bit. But there we go. It's completely dark out, but I did actually catch a new species here. I'm not sure what type of shark this is. I'm gonna have to take some ID photos. On that spot that we caught, uh, I used some cut up spot from that one that we caught earlier in this session, and I got a little shark. All right guys, I'm gonna release this little shark here. I'm gonna ID him later. There we go. Let's go release him. That is a new species for sure. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we caught our first fish of the day. I'm out here at the pier again for day number five of the trip. Um, yesterday was not so good. We ended up catching no fish. This guy's bait, by the way, so I'm gonna just toss him over there. We ended up catching no fish. Uh, I went out for both the morning session, which I got one bite and no fish, and an evening session, which I got no bites. I was not really on my game yesterday evening I was not feeling the best I'm not sure what was wrong with me I may have had a fever and I was like very congested I don't know but today we're out here at the pier and we came out with three goals one of them we just accomplished I wanted to get the skunk off the board number two is I have the ten car here I want to catch something from here on the fly to add to my quest for 20 species on the fly this year and then I also want to see if I can catch something new I saw some clear nose skate and cow nose rays here when I was here the other day and then I also saw some needlefish. I am sitting here on this uh, little outflow area from the lagoon back there and using the micro rod I just caught this. I don't know what it is. Literally have no clue. 
but it is a new species. So uh, I'm going to see if I can catch another one after I take a picture here yeah. to get some identification later. All right, y'all, it is now day six here. Yesterday we were at the pier and then um, I did not do a really an evening session of surf fishing out here. Uh, we had a family dinner and played some games, so could not get out here for the evening. There was a huge school bunker rolling through here and I think there was some mackerel underneath of them. And I came back, um, but they were way down, so I didn't get a chance to catch anything from the surf yesterday. But now it's day six and the waters are ridiculously calm for Ocean City. Uh, I've never really seen it this calm and I've never surf fished it this calm. So um, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but I guess we'll find out. Just a little kingfish, glad we're not skunked today. They're real close in today and I think the reason is is because how I mentioned it's so calm out there today. Um, the breakers are not real rough so they can sit in there without being pummeled. And I think the closer to shore they are, the more they can feed on stuff that's coming from the beach, sand fleas, stuff like that. So uh, I think I'm gonna start casting a little bit closer in today. They're all trying to take my bait. One uh, earlier this week took my cut up spot for cut bait, ran off with it and I chased him down, but he dropped it up on the dunes. Look at those things. Evil little birds. It's a crab. Oh, it's a horseshoe crab. Yeah, he took that rod down. <laughs> I was just letting it sit out there, I got something. I found a school or something. I think it's another king. I think it's another king. Yeah, yeah. it's a king.
that though, right? Yep. Maybe you need to watch it more. I feel like what I need to do is even though it was bouncing there, like it was still bouncing when I picked it up, I need to pick it up and hold it and then wait for an opportune moment. Oh wait. Got him that time. It's one of those eels. <laughs> Wait, he's over here. I gotta show this to the camera. Striped cusk eel. Oh my gosh. I can't hold him. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, I caught one of these last year. This is actually, if you will stop moving, look at that. That is called a striped cusk eel, and they're really cool because you can see the motion he's doing. They actually wriggle backwards down into the sand with just their head out and wait for prey to come by, and then they uh, come out of the sand and snatch it. I caught one of these guys last year. They're really weird and really hard to hold, so I'm going to get him back if I can pick him up. There we go. And with that, that is all I'm going to have for you guys in this video here today. That was a really fun trip that we had. I ended up catching six species, two of them being new to me. We caught spot, northern kingfish, southern kingfish, striped cusk eel, smooth dogfish, and threadfin shad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and were able to learn along with me about how to approach your multi-species and saltwater fishing. If you did, make sure to subscribe because I've got more informational and educational outdoor content coming your way real soon. And with all that being said, God bless. I'll see you next time.